excited that you're here with me today to share something revolutionary that I discovered in terms of dealing with Retin-A peelies. And it's this little product right here. But before I tell you about it, I want to tell you how I discovered it because it was just about a week ago. I was doing videos last Saturday morning and I did a video. It was a long involved video and it took me like two hours to shoot. It was on 10 tips to fabulous eyes and I get it all shot and I'm so happy because it took several hours. And then I start editing and I look at the video and I realized that I have retin-A peeling all through the bottom part of my face. I mean, it looked like I had a beard. And I showed it to my husband and I said, is there any way people won't see that? And he said, no. Here is a still shot of me from that video on the left. And then on the right, this is just about 15 minutes later after I had used my Retin-A Emergency Cure, which I'm going to be showing you. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am on a Retin-A journey, which is just amazing. And I'll show you some of the pictures, but if you're not a subscriber and you too would like to follow along with me as we go through this Retin-A journey, learns the ins and outs, the ups and downs, what to do, how to use it, then I hope you subscribe and click that little bell that will just notify you of my future skincare videos. And before I share this little miracle with you, I'll show you a brief look at some of my progress using Retin-A. Now on the picture on the far left in June of 2017, I'd actually already used Retin-A for five months. And there I am in July of 2017. That was six months into my Retin-A use. And around five to six months is where you're starting to see progress in terms of Retin-A. That's what the studies show. And that's exactly what happened in this picture. At five months in June, my skin was still very ruddy. And you can see I had that hooded eye on the left-hand side. And then one month later at the six month point of my Retin-A usage, my hooded eye is almost gone over there on the left-hand side and the texture of my skin just looks a lot better. And in the last picture, I've used Retin-A about a year and a half, but that was in November of 2017. And as you can see, my skin is starting to firm up. The nasal folds are not nearly so prominent. It looks like my pores are becoming minimized and my skin just has a better overall texture. Well, as you can see from that, I'm having great results with Retin-A and I will post some of my Retin-A videos below because if you're thinking of getting started, it's a very tricky medication and you have to start out very slowly. You know, it has all kinds of ins and outs, but the thing that's kind of interesting about Retin-A and makes it a little less than desirable at times is what happened to me a year ago Saturday, which is that I made that video thinking I looked good. And by the time I looked at the video two hours later, I realized I was peeling like a snake. This is after using Retin-A more than a year and a half and mostly my peelings are gone but every now and then I'll wake up or I'll be in the middle of the day, which is a very horrifying thing. And I'll see these horrible whisker like peelings all over my face, especially my lower face. And it used to be that although I had some ways of dealing with that in the shower and minimizing it somewhat, if it happened like in the middle of the day, there was really nothing I could do. So after I made that video, it was so bad that I had to remake the video and I had to figure out some way to get the peelies off my face. I tried everything, washcloth, you know, that little razor tool that they use. I tried a lot of different things. And then all of a sudden I remembered that I had purchased this and I'd never used it. This is from The Ordinary. It's their AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It's a glycolic acid peel. And I thought since I'm already peeling, why not go ahead and try this and see if I can get those peelings to go ahead and peel all the way off. And this is what it looks like. It's very strange. As you can see, it's almost a purple liquid in there. And I don't want to, I don't want to get it all over myself because it is really, really purple. But there is how that looks. It looks almost like grape jelly or blueberry or something like that. Let me get it off my fingers here. But when I was facing having to remake that one video and then also making another video right after that, I thought, what have I got to lose? And so I read the directions and used this peeling solution. And so what you do is you cleanse your face, which I just did on the bottom half of my face because I wanted to keep the rest of the makeup since I had to get right back into that video again. And then I put some of this out into my fingers, rub them together, and then I just dabbed it all over the lower part of my face. And it says here to leave it on up to 10 minutes. And because this is a rather strong glycolic acid solution, the 30% AHA and the 2% BHA, it started to tingle at first and then it started to hurt just a little bit but I've done many peels in the past and I know they kind of have to hurt to do their job. So I left it on there about four to five minutes and then I just got a warm washcloth and just patted it off. And then I washed the lower part of my face again. And amazingly, all of those peelies were gone. I mean like gone, like they never existed. 
like you saw in that second picture there it was like in place of that fur and those whiskers and that retin-a peeling skin I just had nice wonderful skin and I realized that for our retin-a emergencies which if you use retin-a or are thinking about using it you do have those occasional emergencies where you like look in the rearview mirror in the middle of your business day you're out maybe doing a sales call or something like that you look in the mirror and say oh my gosh I can't face anyone and this would be a little difficult to use on the go but if you're just starting out retin-a and you're out in the public a lot I think I might buy this and put it in a baggie and stick it in my purse and then if you get out in the middle of your day and you realize that you're not presentable stop at a convenience store and take two or three minutes and do a little quick peel take your foundation along with you and then you can pull yourself all back together for me this is a game changer and I will never be without this product plus I have to admit I have not used it all over my entire face but I absolutely loved what it did for my lower face and I really think this would be a fabulous all over peeling product just to exfoliate your skin now if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in anti-aging makeup and skin care for us 50 plus women then I hope you'll consider subscribing and when you click that little bell it just sends you email notifications of my future videos okay I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception I'm using these power thoughts cards from Louise Hay I'm going to go ahead and draw a good power thought for the day it is Saturday I could use a power thought today okay I forgive myself I forgive myself oh my this is a tough one friends as I forgive myself I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and I'm free to love myself oh friends I absolutely love this card I forgive myself that is something that is so hard for me in my first half I made a few mistakes and you know did a few things that that weren't right and all the rest of my life it's like I beat myself up for those things and you know I heard this the other day and it, it makes so much sense we are the only animal on the planet who pays for something we do not just once but thousands of times for the rest of our lives and you know that is ridiculous and that is something quite honestly between you and me that is hurting my second half right now 